So private equity firms accounted for roughly 20% of the total value of worldwide M&A in 2006, which collected over $3.6 trillion this year. That's according to Thompson Financial. Just today, four newly announced deals by private equity firms valued at at least $60 billion pushed the S&P 500 to a fresh six-year high earlier, and the Dow set yet another intraday high. Really incredible. So where is all that money coming from? Can it last? And will private equity continue to rally the bulls well into 07? Frank Aquila is with us, a partner at Sullivan and Cromwell, and Mark Palmer, a partner at Bracewell Giuliani, joining me now to talk about it all. Nice to have you with us, gentlemen. Welcome to the program. Good to see you, Maria. Thanks, Maria. Great to be here. So, so let's talk, Frank, uh, kick us off here a little about the pressure to do deals. With so much money coming into private equity, is there a pressure to do bigger and bigger and bigger deals with all that money? There's always been a pressure in private equity to do deals because once the money is committed, you really don't uh, earn anything on it until you actually use it. Uh, I think that while there's a fair bit of pressure because there's so much private equity cash out there, there are so many different deals and so many different types of industries that they can invest in today that the pressure really isn't as extreme as you might think it would be. Are they overpaying for things? You know, uh, that's a question that we'll be able to tell in a year or two. But I keep looking at deal after deal, and while they're fully priced and sometimes aggressively priced, there's none of them that I sort of scratch my head and say, you know, what are they doing? So mm -hmm. I think they're pretty fairly priced. What do you think, Mark? I think I think that the funds are paying full value out there. I think, uh, you know, right now multiples are about 8.5 to 11 times enterprise value to EBITDA. But there's a lot of leverage. There's a lot of cheap leverage available, and the structures have gotten more complex. So I think really you're just seeing private equity fund managers that are signaling sort of en masse that uh, large cap stocks are undervalued. You know, so I guess we'll have to wait and see. It's amazing because there, there's this entire tier of companies, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 billion dollars in market values that private equity was not looking at, and now they are looking at. Is that a fair statement? It's a fair statement. I think the bottom line is now they have the ability to do so. Right. You know, you're in the age of the mega fund, five, ten billion dollar funds, even more. Funds are grouping together and, and, and doing something called clubbing. There's a, there's a heck of a lot of leverage in these transactions, so they could take down much larger targets. And so they're deploying the capital in the best way they know how. How sustainable is this, Frank? Do you think this continues to, to, to this size that we've seen in 06 into 07? It, certainly into 07. You know, the first half of the year, I think we're going to see a very, very busy period. Uh, you know, probably the second half as well, but I don't like to predict more than six months out. But we're going to be seeing a lot of these types of transactions in early 07. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that, Mark? I, I agree fully. I think it, it's an exciting time to be in the deal business and especially to be representing these funds because uh, they have a lot of capital to deploy. There's a lot of ripe opportunities out there. And, and the pipeline looks good right now. So many implications. What, what would you say the implications of, of this uh, boom that we're seeing are for investors? I, I think this means that in investors uh, are going to be able to get good returns both in the public and in the private markets. Why I say the public markets is if the board and if the management thinks that a company is undervalued by the public market, they have an alternative, and that is to take the company private and get a uh, immediate uh, 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 cash premium for their shareholders. So I think overall it's a good thing for both public and private investors. So we've seen a lot of activity in healthcare and casinos, really, I, I guess you name it, a lot of sectors. But what sectors would you predict, Mark, to be the, the consolidation stories of 06? I mean, of 07, sorry. Oh, I think the private equity funds, you know, to the extent they're driving consolidation, will focus on sectors where, where management really are targeting a new plan or new way to deliver revenues and, and, and really focusing on sales and marketing. So I think you'll see uh, consumer products, industrials, some uh, targeted or niche players in financial services. Uh, I mean, these sorts of industries. Frank, you agree with that? We're, we're going to see it across the board. I, do, I certainly agree with Mark on that. Uh, look for retailing. Look for high-tech deals. Look for entertainment deals. There's going to be a lot happening. Yeah, where there's cash flow and where, 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 where entrepreneurial management can really target an out three-year plan to deliver a lot of revenue. Yeah. That, that's I guess there's, there's a lot of things happening at once. I mean, on the one hand, you've got all this money moving into private equity, enabling these huge deals. And then on the other hand, some companies would rather go private, right, as opposed to staying facing a higher regulatory, a stiffer regulatory environment, and perhaps a higher litigation issue. That is certainly a factor, and that's one of the things that is driving this at the margins. But putting that to the side, if 
there wasn't the equity capital and there wasn't the debt capital and they weren't willing to pay the premiums that they're paying, these deals wouldn't be happening. I, I agree with Frank. The Sarbanes costs and these other issues are really at the margin. What's driving this is, is value and, 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 and looking for long-term shareholders to let management deliver on their plans. Gentlemen, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Good to Thank see you, you, Maria. We'll talk with you soon. Happy holidays.